this singing. So as we praise the Lord tonight, I want you to lift your hands and shout, thank you, Jesus, tonight. Somebody shout, praise the Lord tonight. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Lift those hands and wave it heartily unto the living God tonight. Somebody call him by his name tonight. One more time, call him by his name tonight. And let's praise the Lord together tonight. Let's praise him, hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Jesus, we give him praise. Tonight. Praise the Lord. I need a louder. Let the devil hear you tonight. 
have a voice for God. Come on, somebody. Is that all right? Are you still here tonight? I said, are you still here tonight? Loving God is sacrificial. Love always is a sacrificial thing. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to bless that with something. It says to roll back the curtain of memories now and then. Amen. Is that all right? Show me where you took me from or where I should have been. Amen. Is that all right? The past is your experience. The past life you live is your testimony. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to someone now? Some people are ashamed of the past and don't like to speak about it. Come on, somebody. But I'm not ashamed of my past. If you're a gambler, you're a drunkard, you're a thief, come on, somebody. Is that all right? Regardless of what you are prostitute, come on somebody. The greater the sin you are in is the greater the deliverance. Come on somebody. It's something to prove God. Something to testify about where God took you from. The Bible said you overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Is that alright? Hallelujah. Praise him. So roll back the curtains of memories now and then. Show me where you took me from or where I should have been. Just remember that I'm human and humans forget. So remind me, remind me.
your disappointments, but those were your molding process. I said those were our molding process. God was bringing us out. Come on, somebody. I said God was bringing you out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for those moments, you wouldn't have known the Lord. Are you still here tonight? So we thank God for bringing us out. Amen. Tell the neighbor, say, walk in your miracle. Tell him, walk in your miracle. Tell him, walk in your healing. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7 said, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Come on, somebody. Whatever God has spoken into your life, you've got to walk into it by faith. Come on, somebody. Tell the name say, God is speaking something. Where there is nothing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let me look in the beginning of the creation. The Bible said. Amen, somebody. Amen. That there was nothing. The darkness covered the earth. Amen, somebody. Amen. There was nothing. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And then God began to speak. Amen, Amen, somebody. And He said, Let there be. Amen, somebody. Amen. Turn to him and said, Let there be healing in your life. Change in your life. Miracles in your life. Transformation in your life. Let there be light in your life. Let there be light in your somebody. Now when God speaks, you got to go after it. If you're not going after what God says, you're not walking in faith. Your faith is dead. Whatever God has spoken, whatever miracle, whatever dream, whatever vision, whatever breakthrough, come on somebody. You got to walk into it. You got to walk and conquer the Bible said, because we walk by faith. Your faith is there's something you walk by. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Faith is your transportation to carry you into your destiny. Tell your neighbor, say, faith in God and what is set concerning your life is your spiritual vehicle, is your spiritual plane, is your spiritual transportation for you to get from A to B. Come on, somebody. To get from A to C. To get you where Did the Bible say no we have faith? Don't do nothing. He said no, we walk by faith. Because we have faith, we are walking by faith and not by sight. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And so you're seeing three main points there. You're seeing for we walk, number one, we walk. Hey, we walk. We, walk. We, don't we don't sit. We don't lie down. We don't fall asleep. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We don't stop praying. We don't stop fasting. We don't stop attending the house of God. We don't stop worshiping. We don't stop praising God. We don't stop giving. We don't stop showing. We don't stop what God has given us to do. Because we are walking. We are on a journey. God is carrying us from A to C. He is carrying us up. Hey, Amen. We got to get up and walk. Come on, somebody. Hey, Amen. We got to get up. We got to get up and walk. Amen. Hey, we got to get up and walk. And fed them there. 
Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. There are things that God will bring to you. Amen. But there are things that God has spoken to you. Unless you go after it, you would not receive it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Tell them never say you're going to keep walking. Why are you waiting? You're going to keep walking. Why do you keep walking? Why do you keep moving? Why do you keep running? Why do you keep pressing forward? Because God has given you a promise. Come on, somebody. He has given you a role. He has given you a future. He has given you something to go after. Come on, somebody. But we walk by what? Faith and not by sight. So the first thing you do is walk. Come on, somebody. And while you're walking, you've got to have faith. Come on, somebody. And you can't depend on your sight. Faith does not depend on your sight. Come on, somebody. Come on. Faith does not depend on how much thing is wrong in your life. Amen. How powerful your enemies are. How powerful your foes are. And how much need you have, and how much problem you are facing, and how much how bad your medical report is. Come on, somebody. Stay depend on the report of God. Come on, somebody. David said, Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, some put their trust in money. Come on, somebody. There are many people coming in the house of God to try God, not to prove God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. To do what? Try God. Amen, somebody. But God wants us to do what? Prove Him. God wants us to prove him, not to try him. Come on, somebody. When you're trying something, it's not so it's going to work. But when you're proving God, you know he's going to work. You know what he promised. He's going to bring the past. So you're walking by faith and not by sight. So there's three. Amen, somebody. Attitude qualities have got to be operating in you. It's got to be things distinguishing your life. you got to get Walker. Your spirit, your life, but are awakened. You gotta walk in the spirit. Come on, somebody. And you wouldn't have fulfilled the last of the flesh. Live your physical life. You gotta get up and go after what God has promised you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And when you have to begin to walk and you step out and faith, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. The power of faith, the power of God's word, and created all things. Stand up. God said you can't believe what you see. Amen. But he said you can't believe what you see. Faith does not worry about what you see. Amen. Many of us are serving God, but we are, but, but we are living by what you see. Amen. You are living by what you see. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen somebody. Yeah. When you are walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. When you're not walking in the spirit, you are walking and living by what you see, what you feel, what you touch, and what is around you. When you are walking in the spirit, you are led by the spirit. You're not living by what you see, feel, hear, and touch by the, what men have said unto you. Come on, somebody. Amen. When it's by friends and families and doctors, you are living by faith. You are living by the power. Amen, somebody. Of the living God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Paul said, but I came unto you. I came not with excellency of speech or of man's wisdom, but I came declaring unto you Jesus Christ and him crucified and not in word alone, but in power and in authority and in demonstration of the Spirit of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. When Moses has died, amen, in the book of Joshua chapter 1, Moses died. Amen. Come on, somebody. And then the, the man that Amongst the millions of them that was there, amen, somebody. Come on, amen, go with the Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And they, they wanted a leader, they wanted a man like Moses, amen, somebody. Amen. Come on. And so they were fighting for authority, they were fighting to lead Israel. Come on, somebody. But God spoke to, to Joshua, amen, somebody. And he said, Joshua, I will be with you like I was with Moses. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But even though God was with Joshua like he was with Moses, the miracles that God did through Moses was different than the way that he did through Joshua. Come on, somebody. Amen. 
meant for Moses, God parted a mighty red sea for Joshua, for them to believe. Amen, somebody. The Lord told Joshua, take stones, take tribe of them. Amen, somebody. According to the number of the tribe of Israel. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And go down to the river of Jordan. Amen, somebody. And he said, take off your shoes. Then he said, take off your shoes. Amen, somebody. And he said, when the sword of your feet touched the water, it will pack for you. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Now that is faith. When God says something unto you, amen, somebody. You got to go with what he say. Amen, somebody. If touch your feet, never touch the river of Jordan. It would have never packed for them to go across. Come on. Some of you waiting for God to part your sea, to part your floodgates. Come on, somebody. To part your problems, you're waiting for us to come down and you want to, to see that for like Moses. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. I speak to somebody. Amen. Moses, the staff touched the water and the mighty that sea parted. But God didn't command. Amen. Joshua to use his staff. He said, let your feet touch the water. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor and say, stop living on past miracles. The miracles of yesterday is not what he wants to do today. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He has a word for you today. He has given you a word you to operate and function in. Amen. A word of faith. Amen. A word of a miracle. Amen. The way you were healed before Amen. it might not be the same way but will heal you today. Amen. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Amen. Even though the same God who was not Moses who was in Joshua. God used Joshua differently than he used Moses. Amen. Amen. But it was the same God that was with him. Amen. 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 to be the same when God did it to others. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Your testimony, the way your miracle might come, will be different to how other miracles will come. Your journey might be different. Come on, somebody. Come on. We saw the woman with the issue of blood. She called to Jesus, touched the hem of his garments, and she was made whole. And Jesus said, woman, amen, go thy way. Thy faith has made you whole. Be not afraid. But the centurion man, his faith and his miracle, oh, amen, somebody, was different, come on, somebody, and the centurion man came to Jesus, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come at my house, only speak the word, some people just got to hear the word, and they are here, some people got to touch the hem of his garment, let me hear your faith, let us not be different, the administration of your faith might be different, but you got to find the way to your miracle, amen, blind body must Somebody, while he was calling on Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Come on, somebody. They are trying to hush him up. They're trying to shut his mouth. 
their diversities away, but all have one in common, their hard faith. And their faith commanded them to do something. Tell your neighbor, say, you've got to be obedient to your faith. God has given you the spirit of faith. Wait on someone, the Bible says we have what? The spirit of faith. Therefore we believe and therefore we speak. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Bro, amen. So if you have the spirit of faith, what does the spirit do? The spirit leads us. The spirit motivates us. Amen. The spirit inspires us. Amen. The spirit speaks to us. The spirit of faith. Let me say the spirit of faith. Come on, somebody. The spirit, come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Might be dead from the physical plane, but alive in the spiritual plane. Right, right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So in order for the spirit of faith to operate, you got to get away in the spiritual plane. Amen. Come on, amen. That's why the Bible says God desires those that will worship Him now in spirit and in truth. You cannot worship God in the flesh. Amen. You cannot come and deny the, the, the belief God for a miracle. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And you are obsessing over all your problems and situations. Amen. And you have condemned yourself. Right. And there's fear. And there's doubt. The man that he that Coming to God, you must believe. Let the name of the you are here tonight. You must believe. Otherwise, no man of God can help you. Not even God Himself can help you. Because God cannot go against the word. In the book, Amen of Hebrews chapter 11, He that cometh to God must believe that He is God and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Sometimes you come to Maybe tonight God's answer for your life might be no and tomorrow it might be yes. Amen. Come on, but there's a reason why he might say no tonight. Amen. Because maybe you have been meeting the conditions or the requirements. Amen. That's why he is saying no. Right, right, right. Amen. But next few weeks, next few months, next few years, he might say yes. Why? Yeah. Because the condition of faith has been met. Yeah. Faith is not a stupid thing. Right, right. Faith is not a, a foolish thing. Right. Faith is led by God. Yeah. Faith is inspired by God. Yeah. Go ahead. Faith comes from God. Yeah. God is the original, the originator of faith. Yeah. The origin of faith comes from God. The Bible said, Amen, somebody. By faith to the word of God, the words were prayed. Which one? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Come on, am I speaking to someone? Am I speaking to someone? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Amen. The man at the pool of Bethsaida. When Jesus met him, come on somebody. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. He rejected the spirit of faith at first. Jesus saw him lying there. Jesus saw him crippled. Bent up. On him. Jesus asked him, will you be healed? Amen. 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 No, what Jesus asked him is not what he answered. Go ahead. Come on, someone. Amen. Come on, someone. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Jesus didn't ask him, do you want me to put you in the pool? Right. Come on. Amen. But his answer was, I have nobody to throw me to the pool. Jesus asked him, he asked him, will you be made whole? Yeah. Do you want me to heal you? Yeah. That's what Jesus asked him. And he took the Jesus and said, Lord, I have nobody to throw me into the pool. Sometimes what Jesus is saying to you, Amen, because your faith is dead, you can't hear yeah. what he is saying. Turn, turn. Go ahead. And so therefore your response to Christ is the opposite to what faith is saying. Yeah. Turn. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody? Come on. 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 Hallelujah! Yeah. Jesus told them again, get up and walk! 
He said, take off your belt and walk. Yeah. I didn't ask you if you had no bite to show you to the pool. Yeah. Right. Take off your belt and walk. Yes. Then the devil said, take off your belt and walk. Yes. And I said, if you come from America, you come from here. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen, someone, somebody. Amen. And you believe so much in what the doctors told you. Come on, in what they did to you. What the old man say. Yeah. What your enemy say. Yeah. What your friends say. Yeah. What your father say. Yeah. What your mother say. Yeah. What men say. Come, Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And not believe in what God say. Come on, somebody. Yeah. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit. It's said by the Lord of hosts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you will see the glory of God. Amen. And you're going to close with this. You're going to go to the book of Numbers and you're going to see this example. Come on, somebody. Amen. When you believe in what God says, amen, somebody. Amen. Numbers and before the book of Deuteronomy, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And you're just going to chapter 13 and verses 30, amen, somebody. You're going to see Joshua mentally problem. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Now let's. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. All found tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you will find it, now we're going to go and get it. We are pressing for time. And hear that still the people yeah. mm -hmm. before Moses mm -hmm. and said, Let us go up at once yeah. and possess it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Right. And so let's stop right here. Tell the neighbor, Let us go up at once yeah. and possess it because our faith is not there. Faith is action. Amen. James said, Show me your faith. And I will show you my works of faith that works. If I believe in the power of prayer, I'm going to pray. Yeah, thank you. Right. If I believe in the tools of the spirit of worship and praise, Amen. I'm going to worship, I'm going to Amen. praise, I'm going to sing, I'm going to shout, Amen. I'm going to dance, I'm going to fast, I'm going to do all that I can do to stand. Yes. Amen. Good job. Amen. Good job. Right. Can I believe in the prophetic word of God? Correct. Come on, somebody. Amen. The, this, this word that Caleb believed on was prophesied for, for over 400 years. Okay. Amen. They were waiting. How long does it take? Oh, How long are you waiting for your miracle? Hallelujah. Three days? Two days? Two months? Come on. A year? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And yet you're ready to, to give up? Give up. Right. Generations of Israelites. Yeah. Preached it, Amen. believed it, Amen. and wait on it. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 Come on. Now, 400 years has passed since the death of Joseph, since the children of Israel went into captivity in Egypt as slaves. God now sent a deliverer with an angel with might and power. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Men that Amen. Pharaoh had no choice, the mightiest army of their time was defeated by the hand of God. Yeah. 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 They came to the wilderness, they, they saw water gush out of the rock, they were baptized under the rain, they saw the mighty Red Sea parted, yet still some of them turned up. Amen, and Moses. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The five Moses was taking too long to say he dead by now. Yes. Even after they saw all that, come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Good. Amen. Amen. Right. Come on. And Moses said, who's on the Lord's side? Step over. They will open up the shower. Come Amen. on, somebody. Right. Those who wasn't on God's side, the rest followed him. Right. Right. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And, and they came out of the wilderness. Amen, somebody. Amen. So after 40 years, one day in the wilderness, because of disobedience again. Because of what? Disobedience. Turns your neighbor said, do not provoke God. Because of disobedience. When you are disobedient, it means you have lost faith. The reason you cannot obey is because you have lost faith. Amen. Or you have too much pleasure in what you are in right, right, to come right. out of it. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, and how long have you been waiting? Three days. Three days? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. You know that the disciples backslide after three days? Right, it was right. with Jesus for three and a half years and backslide. Three days. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They backslide for three days. When Jesus rose again, all of them was afraid. Right. All of them backside, so who was the, the woman was more bold yeah, right. than the men, the men went to the hiding. Yeah. 
The calling does not fulfill itself. Come on, somebody. God created the day. And the man said, and he said, man must work while it is day. To fulfill the day, he said, man must do what? Work while it is day for the night coming when man shall work no more. Right, right. Richard. Hallelujah. Fulfillment of prophecy is fulfilled by men and women. Amen. Fulfillment of God's promise over your life is fulfilled by you. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Come on. Turn your neighbors into you have the spirit of faith. The Bible says we have the same spirit of faith. Therefore, we do what we believe, and therefore we. Amen, somebody. And if we say that we have faith, come on, somebody, and we have no works of our faith, the Bible said we are dead. That's dead faith. I said dead believer. And I said dead Christian. And I said believer and would not know the power of God. And would not experience the power of God. And would not see change. And would not know how real and alive God is. You would not experience the love of God, the grace of God, the power of God, the anointing of God. You would not walk in the fulfillment of what God has proposed to you. Amen. Come on. When the kid has said, let's, let's go and possess it. Amen. There is a kid that said, let's go and possess it. Amen. There is a go and possess your miracle. Amen. Have it in your possession. Amen. Come on. Amen. Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Amen. What he said, I was wounded for your transgression. Right. I was bruised for your iniquity. Right. The chastisement of our peace upon was upon him and by his side I have been. Healing is the children. Come on, somebody. When you open that scripture in Isaiah 50, he said, Whose report shall you believe? It's all about what report you believe. Come on, somebody. It's all about the concept you believe. It's all about how you believe God will work or what you believe God will do. Come on, somebody. It's all about God's opinion. You might have your opinion, man's opinion, but God has his opinion. And if God says yes, nobody can say no. And if God says no, nobody can say yes. You must have found out this God's opinion. And you must have heard what God says. Yeah. When the Seraphine woman came by Jesus, about her only daughter. Yeah, right. Come on, somebody. And was sick unto death by demon spirit. My God. Come on, greet by nature. She came to Jesus. Jesus said, it's not fit for me to give her the children's bread unto the dogs. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. And the spirit of faith had operated in her. She believed in Jesus. And he was the only way, truth and life. And he was the My answer. God. Amen. He was the solution yes. to her situation. That she tried everything else and nothing was working for her. Come My on, God. somebody. Right. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes. 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 Time to study that brother Jesus called a cow, a dog, oh a thief, a bandit, a murderer, a wicked disease. Whatever Jesus called her, she didn't care. She was just focused on the aim and what Jesus could have done for her. Yes, John, amen. Amen. Right. People come in the house of God and they shame to see the problem. Right. Come on. Come on, somebody. John. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Line. Maybe they have, they have a husband on the for them. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. They have a wife on on put on Facebook. Come on, somebody. Right. Some of them simply eat and they want a miracle. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, this prayer might say, ask that person what they want. Amen. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. What do you want me to do for you? Come on, somebody. Amen. And they shame. And they come for a miracle. Amen. Right. When you have faith, you don't have pride. Right. Pride comes from men. Pride comes from the devil. Pride was found in Satan. And the Bible said, Pride coming before fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Come on, somebody. Come on. In order for God to deliver you, you must expose what is wrong with you. Otherwise, you will not have a testimony. The Bible says we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. How, how, how do we become a witness for Christ when we testify of what he has done? And if you already start by hiding the nature of your problem and the nature of your life, you already start wrong. Amen. Go ahead. And if you start wrong, you're going to end wrong. 
Because what God wants from you is a testimony. Yeah. Yeah. God right. wants you to be able right. to say, I had the age of the Amadeen. Right. I have a thousand feet of Amadeen. Oh. I've been living a funny cake and I've got the rest life and God brought me out of it. Right, right, right. I was abandoned and that sister in the back I went and deep by her. Will you forgive me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was I. I cussed up that lady black and white. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. That is no longer me. I want Jesus now. Yeah. Are you understanding me? Yeah. Yeah. You come, you come to God for healing and deliverance. Amen. Somebody, some people will cry with me things. They want to buy the business. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Listen to me. You come to God. Come on, I, amen. Don't matter how much you but they hear your business and rural business, they are still here, they are still fine because people know Z. <laughs> somebody who knows can tell somebody who don't know. Good. But your business, your troubles, got to become your testimony. Yeah. Come on. Got to become your miracle. Got to become something that God has done for you. Amen. Go ahead. Come on, somebody. Right. It's got to become something that God has done for you. Right. Every single song, He brought me out of the Mary Clay. What is your Mary Clay? The married clay is your weakness, it's your sin, it's your yeah. problems. It's, 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 come on somebody, whatever you are facing and you want to stop and you want change and you are ashamed or afraid to testify of the things of God or to testify of what Satan has done for you. When you are telling men of God what is wrong with you, you are telling them, you are confessing that Satan, oh amen, have had me sick, he had me oppressed, right. come on, he had me bound and I come for the Son of God to set me free because I believe you're going to Set me free. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yeah, right. The people in scripture were not ashamed of who here, who didn't. Yes. They didn't have the, the time to call Jesus to one side and say, I ain't what I want to hear now. I want to tell you something. You know, I, I leave this to small with me now, you know, and uh, my husband and faithful. I ain't what I want to tell you. But you know, what to heal you? When God, when God blessing you, it's going to be made public. When God heal you, it's going to be made public. But what makes it testimony powerful? When you are able to say that God brought you from. God is not going to heal you for you. When God heals and delivers, the Bible is for His honor and His glory. When God can't be glorified in it, he's not going to do it. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. 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 He said, if I have been lifted up from the earth, I will do what? Show up. Then Jesus did miracles. How did he do them? Publicly. That's why we know the stories of the people. Amen. What happened to them? What they was going to? When the woman that was possessed, amen, with seven devils, and she was an adultery, and she was a prostitute. How do we know that? She made it public. Amen. She said, right. She said, Master, I was a man. I want somebody. Amen. I want somebody. Amen. So come meet a man who tell me everything. Sure. Jesus said, woman, you have five husbands and I don't feel you. Come, come now in a house of one, a man will tell you that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the problem of the generation. That's why we can't have the power of God the way it was then. Because, because we ourselves are there. He the power of God. Right. He said it. Quench not the spirit. We don't grieve the move of God. Our pride, our ego, yes. our self is hindering God from blessing us, changing us, promoting us, establishing us. He said, believe in the Lord your God, and so shall you be established. Believe in his prophets, and so shall you prosper. God got to get rid of the sin. He got to get rid of the power of Satan right. and abound your life in order to set you free and give you a testimony. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. 
Come on. Say with it. Go and possess it. Walk by faith and not by sight. You've got to go after it. He said, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. He said, for we are well able to overcome it. Yeah, I'm not afraid. We are well able to do what? Overcome it. A prophecy of over 400 years. A prophecy, a promise from God is a land flowing with milk and honey. Was met with challenges. Tell their neighbor, say there is no prophecy. There is no miracle. There is no, miracle. There is no breakthrough. There is no healing. There is no change. Amen, somebody. That can happen in your life. Unless it is met with challenges. Challenges arise to prove your faith. Come on, somebody. Who is it being proved to the devil? You got to understand, Satan is the accuser of the person. Satan is standing right in the heavenlies to God that he has right and claim over your life. To have you sit, possessed, bound and oppressed. God. That's like he did with Job. Satan came, amen, before God and the sons of God. God looked at him and said, Have you not considered my faithful servant Job? And Satan said, He is only serving you because of what you have given to him and blessed him with and done for him. Take it away and see if he will serve you. God. Come on, come on. God. Amen. David said, there's a war for your soul. There's a war for your faith. There's a war for your prophecy. There's a war for your blessing. There's a war for your children. There's a war for your home. There's a war and it's not against flesh and blood. It's against principalities and powers. And against the rulers of the darkness of this world. These are the weapons of our warfare. They are not carnal, but they are only mighty through God. And if they are mighty through God, we got to pick up the weapons of God. The weapons of faith. The weapons of prayer. The weapon, amen, somebody of worship and of praise, amen, the garment of praise, for the spirit of heaviness, the oil of gladness, for morning, come on somebody, the soul of the spirit, with the word of God, the seed of faith, come on somebody, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Lord, and your lungs and truth, Lord, and your feet, for the gospel of the preparation of peace, doing all. Come on. Come on. Yes, it, but the men that went up with him said, We be not able. Then he was a Satan and always among the sons and daughters of God. You can't get rid of Satan. Come on, somebody. He's, he's a thief. A thief doesn't tell you when he's coming. Right. Anybody who never meet yourself from my house tomorrow. Come on, somebody. Right. Come and take your money to this brother. No, they didn't tell you when they come in. Amen, right. right. somebody. Amen. They mark you, they watch you, they observe you. They time you. Right. That's what Satan do with you. Right. They, they look to see who you have on road, who you have on road. What defense you have. Amen. What weakness you have. Amen. What can be the quickest response for them to get in and get out. Amen. Right. Right. Leave no evidence to trace. Sure. Come on, that's the that's the devil you're dealing with. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, and so they, they send they send people of your own. Amen. The spiral the lamb and the Bible and they came back with a wicked report. Yeah. Now God gave who gave the prophecy? God. God. Who gave the promise? God. 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 Who began to create the problems? The devil. Yeah. Amen. Because he doesn't want you to have the prophecy fulfilled. Amen. He doesn't want you to have the promises fulfilled. Amen. He doesn't want you to walk and operate in your calling. Amen. He's gonna set you up. Amen. Come on, somebody. He's gonna put challenges before you. Now they, they have already been waiting for about 400 years. So it was already provoking God, disobedient to God, found in sin for 40 years in the wilderness 
after Egypt. My God, amen. Oh. Then no reach, then no come out of our face. Go ahead. Moses only are about to die. Joshua about to take over. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. They already saw all of this. And they still chose to be disobedient to God and walk in unbelief. Yeah, Can I do our faith and let us go and possess it? And let our words go ten as ours. Yes. And they never begin to speak. And some of the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. Who tell you they are stronger than you? I promise Amen. you that. Yeah. You are walking my side of feeling of what you see. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit said the Lord of hosts. When the devil shall come in as a flood in your life, the Spirit of God shall raise a standard. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 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 God himself fought for them. Amen. God put fire to defend them. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. God drowned the armies of the Egyptians. Right. But this battle, for this promised land, was fought by them. Amen. But not in their own strength. Amen. But by the anointing and power of God. Yes. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they brought up an evil report. The Bible said that is an evil report. Amen. If God said, I'm going to heal you, I'm going to open your eyes, I'm going to bless you with a car, a land, a house, I'm going to send the right person, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You've got to be faithful, you've got to be obedient to the voice of God. God said, Anything more than the sin, unbelief is doubt and is fear. And the Bible said, Be careful of an evil heart of unbelief in you departing from the living God. The moment unbelief belief begin to arise in you. You begin to depart from God's promise, yeah. God's blessing, God's word, God's power, and God's might, and God calling an evil heart of unbelief. That's Hebrews chapter 3. Come on. And chapter 4 said, let us fear lest the promise that God has given us leave us that we cannot enter into his rest. Amen. We can't enter into the promise. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Verse 32 said, and they brought up an evil report. Tell the neighbor, say, shut down the evil report. And God said, yes, yes. he's going to give you the strength, the power, the favor, the ability to get where you are going. But there are going to be challenges. Yes. There are going to be persecutions. There are going to be trials. There are going to be giants before you reach the promise, before you fulfill the prophecy, before Go ahead, imagine. John. Come on, come on. Go with the blood. Come on, somebody. Imagine. They brought up an evil report of the land which they searched unto the children of Israel. Right. Why did God, did God say it was evil? Because it wasn't one of faith. Amen. It wasn't one of what? Faith. faith. It, it was one of what? Unbelief. Yeah. Because who promised them the land? God. God. Come on. Amen. Satan had giants in the land. But God promised it to them. Right, amen. And they were operating by what they see. How great the giants are. How powerful they was. Come on, somebody. We are like grasshoppers in the sun. Right. We can't touch them. We can't right, move right. them. How will this thing going to happen? How God going to provide? How God going to give me this bridge? How am I going to win that court matter? How am I going to walk again? Right. Come on, the doctor said he'll never walk again. He said he'll never see again. He said he'll never hear again. The doctor did an operation again. He said I have to never move again. Come on. If you come thinking like that, you are in the wrong place. That's an evil report. report. Come on. 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 Hebrews chapter 11 said that, that they had a, all the elders had a noble report. They said that Elijah and Enoch escaped death and was translated from death under life because they had a what? A notable report. Right. Hallelujah. Right. 
Come on. Right. Come on. Right. Come on. Right. What is a notable report? Something to take note of. Right. Come on. Right. That every situation was an opportunity for them to prove God. Right. Right. Tell your neighbor that every situation in your life is an opportunity to prove God. Now you cannot prove God if you have things dying in you. Yeah. And if you love, if you love the things of this world more than God, you cannot prove God. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. And they brought an evil report, and the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search is. Amen. Amen, somebody. Right. Is a land that eat it up, the inhabitants thereof, hmm. and all the people that we saw in, the, in it are men of great stature. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. And there we saw giants, the sons of Anaki, amen somebody. Right. Oh, Anak for short, amen somebody. Good. Which, and, let's, and I want you to understand who is the sons of Anak or Anaki. They were the children of the fallen angels. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. That's what, that was their territory. Sure. Come on somebody. Right. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Which came of the giants. And so they were descendants of what? The giants of the amen or the children of the fallen angels. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Come on, somebody. Judge. Come on. Right. Tell the name is Satan. Satan. Always put an enemy. Always put an enemy. Before you. Before you. Come on, somebody. That will seem greater than you. Turn to your neighbor and say, The enemy might be greater than you. But God is far greater than your enemy. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. To possess what God has promised. Amen. Mean you gotta go Amen. in Satan's territory yes. and take back what yes. you have stolen from me. You can run from that blessing. You can never obtain your blessing. Yes. And you're gonna be wandering in circles. Yes. Never answering your call. Yes. Never fulfilling your joy. Never fulfilling your peace. Never fulfilling your blessing. Never fulfilling your miracle. Never fulfilling your prophecy. Come on, somebody. You might be talking about it for years. He said the hearers are not justified. But the doers of the world. You gotta step into the world. You gotta step into the corner. You gotta step into the mission field. You gotta step into the land of giants. And go by faith and make my search. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Every miracle in your life has an instruction of faith. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be the same when we face the challenges. Yeah. But you've got to use faith. Yeah. If you're not using faith, yeah. you are dead before God. Yeah. Yeah. Faith without works is dead and as your body is dead in all the spirit, yeah. so is our faith dead in all our works. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. God tell you to go somewhere and you are afraid to go there. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And here we tell you, God, God, you know I can't go there. Bring it to me. But God tell you, I will tell you to go there. Yeah. 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 That's the instruction of faith. Go there. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. God tell you, don't go there. When you say, God, I want to go there. Yeah. But you aim at somebody. And you try to reason with God, I want to go there. Come on, somebody. Right. Amen. Then when you go there, God is not with you. It's wherever God sends you, He will be with you. Right. If He didn't send you there, you are going alone. You are going in yourself. You're not going in God. You're going in yourself. And if you're going in yourself, you you and I in ourself is no mark for the enemy. Right. But when you go with God, you are more than a mark. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than your miracle is a short, your breakthrough is a short, your healing is a short. 
He can see if I want to open up God for you, God, for the individual of faith. God will open up the window of heaven. Amen. Joshua had so much faith when God tell him that they are going to win the battle and he saw the sun going down. He cried out unto God before all our wisdom. He said, you said, God, today this battle will be won. And God said, yes, I really did say that. Amen. I got to stand by my word. And when his eyes are open, you went to all the leaders of the skies and fathers and all the great Lord teachers. He said, I was blind and no eye can see. He didn't take his miracle. I'm going to hide it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shout all over. He said, All I can tell you about this man, I was blind. And this Jesus anointed my eyes and tell me to wash it with water. And now I can see. Stand your feet tonight. Let's go to the battle ground. Use your faith as you shape your brother. You can't be in there. You can't be in there. Let's go to the battle ground for about five and ten minutes. And you can't be in there. Not of sickness, not of disease, not of demon spirits. It belongs to Jesus. Whatever is not of God in my life. You know what is wrong with your life. I want you to begin to command it out. Right now, command sickness out. Command disease out. Command unrighteousness out. Command witchcraft out. Command sorcery out. Command whatever satanic power and abandon you in the name and power. Of Jesus Christ. Command it out. Command it out. The strong man in your life. Open your mouth and begin to wake up. Command it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are, where you are, where you are. Begin to believe that God is going to touch you. He's going to bring you out. You're going to receive it. In the name of Jesus, go to the battleground. Go and say, Come alive. In the power of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy the man is out, and husband of yours, and wife of yours, and daughter of yours, and son of yours, that job of yours, that body of yours, that cancer of yours, and heart disease, in the mighty name of Jesus, command it out, and spiritual python, and spiritual wife, and spiritual Fire! 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 
believe in God for your miracle. Come believe in God for your miracle. Come come and come God quickly. Come come God quickly. Come 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 come
mighty name of Jesus. Be free in the name and power of Jesus. He is your healer. He is your deliverer. He is your way maker. Call on him. Call on him. He will heal. He will heal. He will heal. He will heal. Be free. Be free. Be free. The anointing of deliverance. For this man of God and the blood of the blood. Be free, us just to keep checking her. Lord, that the anointing of deliverance for that loved one. Every evil spirit, every satanic power, be broken, be destroyed. Come on, just let your hands keep praying. Give it God thanks for what he is doing. The miracles he performed the night. The power of the Holy Ghost. What is not of God, every evil spirit, every satanic power, be broken, be destroyed, be shattered. Whatever is said, bury in the yard. Whatever poison you are beating, what they fetch you at the table of your enemies, every evil spirit. Come! Hey, Ramasa, lay your hands upon the stomach and keep praying. We command deliverance, we command healing. Oh God, strength! Hey, Ramasa, your blessing and deliverance and peace. Right now, the power. The Holy Ghost be made free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Let's see our testimony. Boy, was a big sister. So how long do you have to start up for sister? How long? Six months? Six months in the wheelchair for? Jesus is your hero. Jesus is your Jesus. Jesus is your Jesus. 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 Jesus